This is Quest Nutrition Network, TLS Weight Loss Solutions. Eat right, live fit, and feel good. Today, I wanted to talk about heart disease. And this video is inspired because a good friend of mine just recently passed away due to the complications of heart disease. Now, heart disease is something that kills, on a yearly basis in this country, 600,000 people. All right? And one of the reasons or the causes of heart disease is the accumulation and the buildup of plaque in our arteries. Now this plaque comes from a poor diet. So when you're eating cheeseburgers, when you're eating french fries, when you're eating your dairy, your milk, this is what causes the accumulation of that, that plaque that is in the arteries and it causes heart disease. So there are four components that I want to talk about that can possibly prevent and as well as reverse heart disease. Diet and nutrition. Number two is exercise. Number three is supplementation. And number four is stress management. Now let's start off with diet and nutrition. Research has been coming out for a long time talking about a plant-based diet. A plant-based diet because of its high nutrient content, high phytochemical content, is, is capable of preventing heart disease as well as po possibly reversing heart disease. So when we're talking about a plant-based diet, we're talking about fruits, we're talking about vegetables, we're talking about things that are coming from the ground, things that are created by nature, and the minimizing as well as eliminating any meats. That means your steaks, your chicken, your any source of that saturated fat, as I said, the dairy, the milk, all of those things will be eliminated and your focus will be on a plant-based diet. As I said, that there's a, there's a lot of literature and research and science that proves this. So when you're incorporating something like kale into your diet, kale is very high in magnesium. Research shows that if you have a high magnesium intake on a regular basis, you will prevent yourself from getting a heart attack or heart disease. Also, when you're consuming cruciferous vegetables, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and collard greens, these are also high in phytonutrients. They're high in beta carotene. Beta carotene is generally known to be inside of carrots, but they're also inside of the collard greens and the broccoli. So make sure that you're getting plenty of these, as well as your fruits, which are high in fiber, like apples and oranges. So we gotta make sure that we're consuming these on a regular basis. Now the next thing is exercise. Exercise is one of the most important things that you can do, especially for individuals who are obese. Obesity almost guarantees you heart disease. So we've got to exercise, we got to get moving. Whether you're doing a light jog or heavy running, weightlifting, boxing, martial arts, all of those things that is gonna cause you to sweat you need to be doing it every day to prevent yourself from getting heart disease or to help reverse your heart disease, all right? Even when you go to the supermarket or the grocery store, make sure that you park far away so that you can walk through the parking lot. Don't take the elevator, take the stairs. You know, force yourself to do the exercising. The next thing is vitamin supplementation. I'm very, very big on vitamin supplements. The thing about it is that what you wanna do is not just take the vitamin pills. You wanna take the powders, things like cacao powder, wheatgrass, spirulina. There's a great supplement that I take on a regular basis that's called OPC. OPC is high in antioxidants. This is what you wanna be taking on a regular basis, all right? And also, coenzyme Q10, curcumin, these are the things you wanna take, vitamin C. All of these nutrients, these vitamin nutrients are high in antioxidants. And when you're taking them on a regular basis, they protect your heart, they protect your cardiovascular system, and they prevent you from getting heart disease. And if you do have heart disease, it will, it will allow you to reverse the heart disease. Now finally, the last point is stress management. You want to have stress management techniques. Techniques such as meditation, uh, deep breathing exercises can do great things for your body, all right? 
So we're all living in a high stress society. We all have demands and deadlines and families and, and schoolwork, all kinds of different things that are pulling us in different directions. We have to have an outlet. There's so much uh, research that shows the benefits and the importance of meditation and the benefits of deep breathing exercising or just having a moment to yourself when you're having a stressful day. You know, sit down and just close the door, have a couple of moments to yourself. These are very vital things that we got to start doing on a regular basis. So make sure that you follow some of these instructions. I hope that you've been empowered by this message that you could go back and bring that message to your family as well. All right. Thank you for taking the time and listening to this message. This has been Quest Nutrition Network, TLS Weight Loss Solutions. Eat right, live fit, and feel good. Rest in peace, Imani Bay. Take care.